away! A fiery horse with the speed of light, a cloud of dust, and a hearty Hyo Silver, the Lone Ranger. of the railroad and the discovery of gold in the hill country started a new wave of emigration to the western United States. But with the miners and prospectors came criminals and gunmen. The mining towns ran wide open, and a man's life depended on the quickness of his draw. It was the masked rider of the plains who put an end to violence in the gold country. It was his strength and courage, his daring and resourcefulness, that blazed the trail for progress and made possible the winning of the West. Nowhere in the pages of history can one find a greater champion of justice. Return with us now to those thrilling days of yesteryear. From out of the past come the thundering hoofbeats of the great horse Silver. The Lone Ranger rides again. Come on, Silver! We're on the trail of Scar and his gang. Town is waiting at Rainbow Creek. Arrow Silver, away! <laughs> A spur line ran from the mining camp on Rainbow Creek down through the hills to the junction. The Friday night freight was due to leave. A masked man stood beside a great white horse in the shadows at the side of the station. He watched the agent and the conductor lift a heavy box to the platform of the caboose, and then carry it inside. The masked man turned his head. A moment later, an Indian reined up beside him and dismounted. Gold's on board, Tyler. Uh, plenty of gold. The biggest shipment that was ever sent from Rainbow Creek. We right now? Not yet. I want to see if the train will carry any passengers. Then we'll ride on ahead. Fine, Scar. He was here two days ago. He must know about the gold. I believe he'll try to get it. Him hold up train? Yes, Tyler. With all the curves and the hills on the run, he'll have any number of chances. But not before Springville. We ride fast. Get to Springville for train. Well, there's no hurry. You see those empty cattle cars? Ah. Uh. They're taking on a shipment at Springville. Unless they break a record, they won't get there before tomorrow morning. We get there for the end. Of course. Silver and Scout are more than a match for that engine through the hills. Ah. Uh. There's someone coming toward us. Ah. Uh. Don't to see him any time in Rainbow. It's Wild Bill Garrison, the gambler. Hello there, stranger. It's a nice horse you've got. There. Steady, boy. The mast. I'm not an outlaw. Don't worry, I'm not going to ask any questions. Would you mind answering a few? <laughs> well, that depends. I don't mind listening to them. Are you leaving the camp? Yes. Why? Well, I like to play cards, and the boys won't play with me anymore. But don't misunderstand. I had a run of luck, that's all. I'll give you $1,000 for that horse. He isn't for sale. Would it make any difference if I uh, boosted the ante? None at all. That's what I thought you'd say. How about you, Injun? No. Me not sell, Scout. All right, all right. You don't have to get sore about it. 
But you can't blame me for not wanting to ride that choo-choo. That's all we need to hear, Tyler. Yep. Come on. Uh, what do you mean? Come on, Silver. Get him up, Scout. Silver. He called his horse Silver. Hey, Bill. Coming, Anson. You ready to start? Well, be a while. The engineer's having some trouble. What do you want to ride that caboose for? <laughs> I don't. It's going to take us about 28 hours to make the run. There's cattle to load at Springville. I don't want to ride with you, but I can't buy a horse. Oh, well, look, there's the Mason Ranch between here and Springville. We could drop you off there. Jim Mason could fix you up with a horse. Say, you sure don't care much for my company, do you? Sure, it isn't that, Bill. You'll be more comfortable. You're right. Drop me off. Now you're talking. I wouldn't have my worst enemy ride that caboose. How much one way to the junction, Anson? Two dollars. Here you are. Well... Is Linda your worst enemy, Anson? I don't have to tell her what this trip will be like. Besides, she can't buy a horse. Perhaps you'd like me to stake her. I'd like you to mind your own business. Are you taking this train? Only as far as Mason's Ranch. Good. The less conversation we have, the better pleased I'll be. <laughs> That's what comes of trying to give a lady good advice, Anson. I don't need your advice. It was my mistake. I presumed on a friendship which evidently didn't exist. <laughs> I'm getting on board. How long before we start? All set. There's your answer right now. Just about on time. Hand me the landing, Bill. Sure. What? Behind us. We go faster? No, Tonto. We'll hold this pace. Nothing's going to happen between here and Springville. But if the train should happen to pass us on this level stretch, we'll pass it again as soon as the engine hits a grade. Huh? Well, that looks like a campfire up ahead. Maybe so. But it's in the middle of the tracks. That's right. Isn't Jim Mason's ranch over this rise to the north? Huh. Perhaps it's a signal fire, Tonto. We may want the train to stop. There's somebody next to fire. Yes. It isn't Jim. Looks like a woman. She's heard Silver and Scout. Woman run away. And there's nothing strange about that. She must think we're outlaws. We go after her? We're friends, ma'am. Let me alone. Let me see you We aren't going to hurt you. I can't do anymore. Oh. She's fallen. Mm, that baby cry. Don't cry, honey. Mommy won't let him touch you. Ma'am. Let me alone. Can't you see I have a baby? We only want to help you. You're masked. You belong to Scott Gang. Now, that isn't true. You're Mrs. Mason, aren't you? You ought to know. You want the train to stop? Don't make fun of me. Tonto, get back to the track. Stop the train. Uh-huh. Come to do it. And let me help you up. Love of mercy, haven't you done enough? You've killed my husband. You've burned our ranch. If it weren't for the baby, you could kill me too. But you need someone to take care of her. Please, if, if I get to the junction, I'm going to take a train back east. I, I won't make any trouble, I promise. We'll see that you get to the junction. You will? There's no time to explain my mask, but I'm not an outlaw. You really mean it? I'm doing my best to bring Scar and his gang to justice. Now let me help you up. If you just hold the baby. Of course. I, I'm all right. You know, the train's stopping. But before we put you on it, I wish you'd tell me just what happened tonight. I'll take it now. Scar and his gang raided your ranch? It was just after dark when they came. They wanted horses. And when Jim tried to stop them, Scar... It was Scar who did it? Yes. I saw him from where I was hiding in the cottonwoods. One of the men was carrying a torch and it lit up his face. Then they set fire to the house. Do you have any money? Some. I took all we had when I ran out of the house with the baby. That you, Miss Mason? Yes, Anson. I want to go to the junction. I got a passenger here that wants to buy a horse from Jim. Oh, What's the matter? There are no horses at the Mason Ranch. They've all been driven off. And Jim has been killed. Killed? Scar's work? Yes. And take care of Mrs. Mason, Conductor. Sure, but you're wearing a mask. Maybe she I got won't... a hunch we don't have to worry about that. Step right up, ma'am. You must be tired. Can I hold the baby? You? I'm sorry. Now, in here, ma'am. We'll make you comfortable. Springville's closer than the junction. We'll drop Miss Mason there. You'll take her to the junction. She wants to train for the east. Oh, well, maybe she'll change her mind. What? Here, Silver. 
we have our work cut out for us, Tonto. Uh, what we do? We'll cross the rise and head for the Mason Ranch. And then we'll pick up Scar's trail. We'll follow it wherever it leads. Come on, Silver. Wait a minute, Scar. Come on, Silver. Away! The freight reached Springville the following morning. The loading of the cattle began. At that time, the Lone Ranger and Tonto had ridden far beyond the town. The outlaw trail led them away from the railroad and deep into the hills. At noon, they reined up. They camped here, Tonto. Ah, how old is the campfire? Maybe four, five hour. Which way did they ride after they left here? Sign over there. Come on, Silver. I see it now. There must be nearly 20 of them. That's right. Then go south. Back to the railroad. Means they're after the gold, Tonto. Ah. But we still have time. It's only 12 o'clock. So the train hasn't left Springville yet. They've just about finished loading the cattle. Oh, Silver, away! What is it? I don't blame you for not having much use for me. I'm no lady like you are, but there's something I'd like to tell you for your own good. Really? You ought to get off the train before we leave Springville. Why? Well, you're tired. You ought to rest up a while before you go any farther. I have no place to go here. There's plenty of folks to take you in. Bill, you'd find some place for her, wouldn't you? You'd stay behind. I'm at your service, Mrs. Mason. Is there anything I can do, oh, I'll be... There isn't. Uh, that man coming across the platform is the only friend I have around here. He's a rancher, isn't he? Yes, it's his cattle they've been loading. He'll be traveling with us. Another one, huh? What was that? I... I'm glad you'll have a friend along. Thank you. Hello, Checkers. Hello, Sally. I looked in here once before and she was sleeping. I... I'm sorry about last night. I know. You don't have to tell me. Just sit down here beside me. Yeah. How's the baby? She's fine. Well, there's Anson coming out of the station. We'll be starting in a minute. Why don't you all get out of here? Huh? What do I have to do to make you understand? Understand what? I can't say anything more. I can't. I think you'd better, Linda. No. You've had your warning. What's the matter with her? Search me. I've given up trying to understand women a long time ago. Bill, you never tried to do that. Everybody in here? Sure you don't want to get off, Miss Mason? I'm going to the junction. Suit yourself. All aboard. Let's ramble. Hey, conductor. There's a man breaking from the sagebrush on the other side of the tracks. I see him. He's heading this way. Looks like he wants to get aboard. Hurry up. Checkers. Yeah? Get your gun ready. The last time I saw that man's face, it was by the light of a torch. He's one of the outlaws? One of them. It's Scar himself. All right. I got your hand. Jump. Thanks, Take him up, mister. You're covered. You aiming that at me, cowboy? I sure am. Don't make a move, Scar. Scar? I'm sure of it. Tie him up, Hanson. Not me. You needn't be afraid. He won't try anything. Who said anything about being afraid? Is this man a friend of yours? Well, we work together now and then. He's a crook, too. Mr. Garrison, you'll help, won't you? There's a coil of rope across the aisle. I'll be happy to oblige. Don't reach for it, Bill. I got a gun in your back, and the same goes for you, Checkers. Stick him up. You! Good work, Linda. I couldn't have done better myself. Grab their gun, Scar. Yeah. I got him. Tie him up, Anson. Yeah. They're both tough hombres, and we can't take any chances. curtain falls in the first act of our Lone Ranger story. Before the next exciting scenes, please permit us to pause for just a few moments.
Now to continue our story. Bill and Checkers were taken prisoner by Scar just as the train left Springville. All afternoon, the slow freight jolted through the hills. The shadows began to lengthen. Miles away, the Lone Ranger and Tonto rode toward a heavily wooded section not far from the railroad. We're only a few miles from the junction, Tonto. Ah. The railroad must be just beyond these woods. It get dark plenty soon. Wait, Tonto. What you see? Through the trees. Oh, campfire. We found the gang, all right. You ride to town, get sheriff, posse? We'll have to make sure that Scar's with them first. It's plenty dangerous. Go close to camp. I know that, Tonto. There may be another way. What you mean? They're waiting for the train. They'll have a guard posted near the railroad. Oh, capture guard. It's worth trying. We should be able to make him talk. Oh. Come on. We'll circle to the south. The Lone Ranger led the way around the woods to the railroad. The tracks were climbing here, and at the top of the rise, a figure of a man could be seen leaning against a great pine. His rifle gleamed in the last rays of the setting sun. The masked man raised his arm in a signal to stop. There he is, Tonto. We'll leave the horses here. Um, Silver Scout not make any noise. We'll keep to the cover of the trees. Not see us. It's almost dark, but be careful. Camp's less than a hundred yards away. Tonto, watch out. Me to guard this dog gone. <laughs> Quick, Tonto. We'll have to gag him until we get him away. Tonto, do it. Now, pretty old. Are you ready, Tonto? Uh-huh. Come on, Silver. With the outlaws, their prisoner, the Lone Ranger and Tonto raced to the bottom of the long hill. There they found cover in a grove of trees. The gag was taken from the guard's mouth, and the Lone Ranger accused him of taking part in the raid on Jim Mason's ranch. We're giving you a choice. You'll either be taken to the junction and turned over to the sheriff as the man who killed Jim Mason. No, it wasn't me. I didn't do it. Oh, you'll tell us everything you know. Scar killed him. Is Scar in the camp? No. Where is he, then? I don't know. He's supposed to be on the train. Oh, that bad. Left the gang at Springville, Tonto. Well, that's where he must have boarded it. Maybe him steal gold himself. Not wait for man. He couldn't. He might have been able to hold up the train and throw the box off, but he couldn't make a getaway. The box is too heavy. Uh. He'll use his men. Oh, can I go now? Go? I've told you everything I know. You'll have to tell us more if you want to save yourself. you turn me over to the sheriff anyway. Your only chance is to help us catch the rest of the gang. Now hurry up. I can't waste any more time. Where's the holdup going to take place? Y- you promise? I promise that you'll hang with the rest of them if you don't talk. And where's it going to be? You can see from here. The top of the hill? Yeah. That's the end of a long grade. By the time the engine reaches the top, it'll slow down to a walk. They won't have any trouble climbing aboard. The sheriff will have something to say about that. You go to junction? Right away. I'll bring the sheriff and the posse back. They'll surround the gang and catch them in the act. Uh, what about me? You're coming with me. But you'll stay here, Tonto. Find some cover about halfway up the grade. There's a chance that I won't be able to make it before the train reaches here. You'll make it all right. It's getting late. Watch for the train. And if we haven't returned, warn the engineer before he gets to the top. Tonto, wait for you. Into the saddle. Listen, I didn't have anything to do with Jim's murder. Move. All right. Halfway up the grade, Tonto. I'm trying to know. Hello, Silver Hoy! The Lone Ranger urged the great horse through the night. When the junction was reached, he turned his prisoner over to the sheriff. The lawman rounded up a posse. The freight train neared the hill where the outlaws were camped. One end of the caboose, Garrison and Checkers lay on the floor, roped hand and foot. Mrs. Mason sat near them, her little daughter cradled in her arms. At the other end of the car, Anson, Scar, and Linda completed their plans. How much longer before we get to the big grade, Anson? Fifteen minutes. I've been wondering about those two men and the woman. You can stop right now. I've got it all worked out. They can't hurt us. Why not just let them go? Not on your life. You're going to take them with us? You'll have to take the engineer and fireman, Linda. Not if you use a gun on them. I'd like to do this without any gunfire. The top of the hill's pretty close to the junction. They might hear the shots. All right. Take the engineer and the fireman with us, but there's the baby. What about her? (laughs) I told you I had it figured out. You're not going to hurt her. Look, right now we get the gold out of this car and onto the roof of the next one. What for? Because halfway up the grade, the coupling on this caboose is going to break. It'll roll down the hill and smash up. We get rid of the woman and the two men without firing a shot. No. Shut up. There's no need for them to know what's going to happen till it does. Sounds good to me. 
We'd better start with that box right now. There's more than the three of them. There's the baby. Linda, you've been a lot of help on this job. Don't spoil it. It's murder. You said there wouldn't be any killing. There wasn't supposed to be anybody riding the train. I won't let you. Look out, Anson. You're too late. Check her. She pulled a gun on him. What's the idea? I thought I'd wait until the whole gang could be caught. But I'm not going to be a party to murder. You gone loco? You're the one who's loco. You were loco to trust me. Do you know who I am, Scar? Look at me. Don't I remind you of somebody? Scar. Quiet. Harvey Ashland, Scar. I'm Harvey Ashland's sister. I was in the East when you killed him. You never saw me, but when I got back here, I swore that you'd pay for his death. It was over a year ago. Been looking for you ever since, but it wasn't until I hit the rainbow that I got my chance. You like to talk, don't you? I want you to know why I'm shooting you. You dry ghost, Harvey, shot him in the back, but this is going to be face to face. Linda, look out for us. What? My wrist, don't let go of her. Steady, Miss Mason. Yeah. Let go of her. I guess we'll have to tie them both up, Anson. Yeah, there are a couple of wildcats. I better... My arm, don't you... You're hurting me. Yeah, she's fainted. I can have my hands free now. That's it. Put her on the floor. You beast. Don't worry, Miss Mason. You need a few ropes to make you behave, but we won't bother the baby. We'll put her on the seat beside you. Go ahead, kill us. Get it over with. How long before the grade, Anson? We'll be making the curve in five minutes. We'll be starting to climb after that. You, uh, won't have long to wait, Miss Mason. <laughs> Circle to the left, Sheriff. Scar's men are hidden in those pines. Wait for the train to get to the top before you strike. Where are you going, last man? I'm heading down the hill. Follow me, boy. Come on, Silver. Silver. As the posse closed in on the gang and the Lone Ranger headed down the grade, Scar and Anson carried the gold out of the caboose and with the help of a rope, raised it to the roof of the car ahead. The last curve on the run was in sight before the job was finished. And at that moment, Linda recovered consciousness. Bill. You're all right now, Linda. All right. Are they gone? Don't you know what's going to happen? Yes. They told us before they left. Where's Mrs. Mason and the baby? At the back. It's too bad for them. Checkers had her persuaded not to go east. He was going to see that her home was rebuilt. Huh. It's too bad for us. You understand me now, don't you? Well, I treated you the way I did in Rainbow. Of course. And, and you forgive me? You don't have to ask that. Oh, if, if we could only get loose. Don't try, Linda. We've got to. They used wire as well as rope. Listen, we're turning. We're rounding the curve. After the curve, he... Said we'd start to climb. Yeah. We we are, Bill. We're starting to climb now. Steady, Linda. Steady. You come back, Kimasabi. Yes, Tonto. Sheriff come with you? Yes, he's waiting with his men. We might as well get to the top, so... What matter? There's two men up on top of that cattle car. That's right. What are they doing? Maybe them walk up front to engine. But they aren't. Look, one of them's disappeared. Ah, him dropped down between cars. What for? Mrs. Mason and her baby are in that caboose. We can't let anything happen to them, Tonto. Train go plenty slow now. Maybe we get on board. Come on, Get him up, Scout! Uncouple the last car. It's rolling down the hill. Uh, We've got to get on board and set the brakes. It go fast. Fast as silver. You jump. I'll have to. <laughs> that was Mrs. Mason. Come on, silver. Just a little more and I can make it. Get him up, Scout. Steady now. Hold your stride. I've got to swing over. And that's it, boy. Now it... <laughs> Too late. Now it's taking hold. Taking hold some. One more turn. That's it. 
Are you all right in here? It's the masked man. Don't let Scott get away. They're waiting for him. I'll cut your ropes, Bill. And you can take care of the rest of them. Here's the knife. Here, Silver. You hurry, Kimasabi. What's up? Posse gets Scar's man. Yes? Scar, another fellow. See Posse jump off train, climb bank. There. That ravine? Huh. After them, Silver. <laughs> The last of the climbing, Silver. Get him up, Scout. There they are, heading for the woods. Stop or I'll shoot. Oh, I haven't got a gun. I give up. That uh, can't be Scar. Take care of him, Tonto. Tonto, do it. A weave, Silver, side to side. And that's it. He'll start shooting in a minute. Come on, Silver. Faster, boy. Now we're close enough. Oh, my hand. Don't, don't let go my gun. Uh, you broke me in. Right. You belong with your men, and your men belong in jail. Get up here. Hey! Oh, Silver, away! On to the junction. Just a mile or two more. I'm ashamed of myself. Oh, don't be, Linda. I shouldn't have thought I was equal to those men. I'll never try anything like that again. You won't have to. You'll have a man to do your fighting from now on. Mr. Garrison. Yeah? If I'm going to change my name, you're going to change yours. It isn't going to be Wild Bill anymore. <laughs> you know, you didn't do any better job against Scar than I did. If it hadn't been for the masked men, well... I don't have to tell you. I've never seen anyone like him in my life. I wonder who he is. You honestly don't know? No, I don't. And you can't guess? No. Well, Mrs. Mason, when that little girl of yours grows up, you'll be able to tell her that... Yes? That once upon a time you met the Lone Ranger. just heard is a copyrighted feature of the Lone Ranger Incorporated.